on that、uh, several months ago. I think the speech is something that you must hear. The speech by Tommy Turbeville is something that you absolutely must hear and even share with your friends and family. Many people don't realize what's really coming. They hear that the United States has $34 trillion in national debt, and they just brush it off because they think it has absolutely nothing to do with them. But it does. It doesn't just affect us right now, it affects future generations here in the United States whose quality of life will gradually decline precisely for this reason. So here's US Senator Tommy Turbeville. Watch. This is all a scam. I mean, we got people that's getting ready to retire that's going to try to live off two to three thousand dollars. Impossible. It's impossible. Because what happens, it comes up here, we spend it. We're 35 trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then taxpayers have two trillion dollars in credit card debt. We are in huge spend it. We're 35 trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then taxpayers have two trillion dollars in credit card debt. We are spend it. We're 35 trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then taxpayers have two trillion dollars in credit card debt. We are in huge trouble. In this body, we had better start figuring that out because we're going to have a run on this city here soon, and there's going to be about 150 million people coming up here saying, Where's our damn money that we paid in? I could have put my Social Security money for 40 years in, tax, in, in, in the market. And probably be worth eight to ten million today. But the federal government wasted it. So I'll get off my high horse there. But it's good that we have this because we got, you know, I get a little pension check from education.、I've, I was part of a union.、Uh, it's not going to help people. People are going to have to work, continue to work longer and longer. Am I right, Ms. Jenner? Can you say something about Social Security and, and it being taxed for some reason? We're taxing people for the second time on Social Security that they put into. Into an account. Yeah, and I'd like to point out when Social Security was first founded,、um, those who established it, it was started out as a 2% tax, and they said this will never take more than 6% of your income. Today it takes 12.4%, and depending on whether you go with CBO or Social Security trustees, it needs to take between 15.8% and 17.5%. So we're talking about thousands of dollars more per year.、Um, it also was actually only originally recommended that it, the tax be up to $66,000, equivalent in today's dollars of earnings. Um, but over time, it has expanded massively, and the money has been spent every year. So, whereas everybody thinks this money's been set aside for me, no, for the past 13 years, every dollar that has gone out of workers' paychecks has gone immediately to pay promise benefits. And that's what happens when you have a system that enables those in charge of it to spend the money in the immediate term. And leave the buck to the next generation that's coming along. And because Social Security has grown so much, it's actually to the detriment of lower income workers in particular who have to pay such a large share of their tax, their paycheck to Social Security. They have little left to save for retirement. And then lower income and African American workers have the lowest life expectancies. So they are the most likely to get nothing back in return. One out of four African American men will die between the ages of 45 and 64 after having paid into this system for decades, tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they get, might get nothing back. What's the solution? <clears throat> and there you have it, man. Call all Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash and Shalom Lubakarium Shor Yasharala. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who go well. Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. This is for the house of mourning and only for the house of faith, those that are sincere and truly believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. And we are definitely in a time of prophecy. And as you can see, This lady and this senator, all right, the U.S. senator came out straight at it and said, Look, man, we dead broke. We have no money, all right? And then you heard this lady right here. She went into you,、uh, Jake's, man. You heard what she said. You're the one being oppressed. You're the one that's paying in for your federal taxes. And between 45 to 64, you're not making it, you're dying. You get nothing back. 
And this is all prophecy, man. Now, I'm going to start with, um, let's get Habakkuk chapter 2. And I'm going to start at, let me see, 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increase of that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid of himself with thick clay. And this is talking about Esau, right? Everywhere he's go, he has been taken. He's conquering through the sword and bloodshed. He has taken all the minerals, the fatness of the earth that was given to him as a blessing with the sword to conquer the nations and to take every resource wherever he goes on this planet. All right, which is not his because based on Second Ezra six, let's go there real quick. All right, let's go to Second Ezra. Oh man, you know, saying let me see something. All right, <clears throat> let's go to Second Ezra six, and uh, okay. Mm. Verse 59, 2nd Ezra 6 and 59, as you can see down here. And this is Ezra speaking. If the world, the planet, the world, the earth, terror, if the world now be made for our sakes. See, from the beginning, this planet was given to Adam, right, to rule in righteousness. From the beginning, all right? If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long should this endure? All right? And the reason why is because we fell. Adam fell and we all died after him. All right? We inherit death and sin. All right? And now we're being judged because of disobedience. But we at the end of this captivity. Because we see the falling of an empire, Esau. <clears throat> so when it says here, woe to him that increased that which is not his, because this planet wasn't his. It was given to him temporarily, a season. All right? It was given to him for a season. And we're going to get that, uh, or you can read it for yourself, Revelation 20. How long into him that laid of himself with thick clay? You know, this for the new brothers coming in, sisters learning. You know, we're going to go into this word, thick clay. Strong's you know, H, 5671, Avtit, Avtit. Avtit. All right. Weight of pledges, debt. See, heavy debts. So this man has saturated himself with 34 trillion in debt all right psalm 73 and 10 therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them ultimately esau's judgment is going to come upon him for all his wickedness and they say how do the most i know and it's their knowledge in the most high this is him sticking up his nose up to the lord this is him uh uh thinking he had he he's god himself Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. All right? But how did he get the riches? Well, you heard this lady, what she said, right? You know, she went into the uh, UJs, so-called African-Americans. You know, you won't even live up to uh, inherit all the money you put in. Well, that's the oppressed being... Uh, Let's get that real quick. I got it right here. Let me see. <clears throat> Call all y'all by Shimmy Proverbs 22 and 16. Let's get that. Uh, you devils, man, it's over for your for your kingdom. We're we're we're, we're literally uh seeing the downfall of this kingdom. 
Proverbs 22 and 16. Let me highlight that real quick. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to rich, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. All right, and the oppressed are you Israelites, man. All right, that's why the Lord said this, Jeremiah twenty-two and thirteen. Woe unto him, and woe means destruction. This is why ultimately Babylon, the Great America, is going to fall and it's going to be destroyed. But woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by wrong that useth his neighbor's service without wages and giving him not for his work. And you devils been doing that from the beginning. Your tax system. Everything you've done, you tax, tax. All right? You adopted the Roman system. This is why this is the revised Roman Empire. All right? And you see it, man. This place is through. It's done. Broke. Brokey dokey. Let's go back to that where he went. Let's go back. Getting ready to retire. This going to try to live off man. two to three. Here. Now it affects future generations here in the United States. This is all a scam. I mean, we got people that's getting ready to retire that's going to try to live off two to three thousand dollars. Impossible. It's impossible because what happens, it comes up here, we spend it. We're 35 trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then taxpayers have two trillion dollars in credit cards. It's impossible because what happens, it comes up here, we spend it. We're 35 trillion in debt. We don't have any money. We're dead broke. And then there you go. Babylon the Great is fallen, man. Call her Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Shalom Libakarium Shor Yasharala and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will have Shalom.